Do you find yourself tossing and turning at night, wondering if or when you'll be successful? Do you thirst for success, but find yourself constantly sluggish and apathetic, doing nothing to work towards your goals? Are you inert, incapable of making the changes that you want to make? Well, people often blame the outside world for situations in which they find themselves. But often it's you who's capable of making changes for the better. One of the most important things that you can do is setting an appropriate goal for yourself. Don't set too big or vague a goal, like I will get a band score of 9 in the IELTS exam within a year, but rather break it down into smaller and more manageable aims. For example, you could aim to improve your IELTS band score by 0.5 in 6 months or to work on one aspect more specifically, like improving your writing skills by learning and practicing 10 new formal writing structures. To reduce procrastination, one thing we can do is to schedule manageable time to work and try to follow this as tightly as we can. Divide your day into smaller time periods of 30 or so minutes for each thing. Keep these time periods short and try to finish specific tasks during this time. This will help you to maintain focus and to gain a smaller sense of achievement for each individual task along the way. Perhaps you might choose to work, practice or collaborate with other people. The more responsibility that's attached to you, the less you will procrastinate. You will likely be or act more responsibly if you involve more people in your project. At least that's how it works for most people. When you're doing an assignment or a project, you should 100% turn off all of your devices, such as phones or tablets, which can, may and definitely will distract you. There are many apps that you can use to block some websites or applications that keep you going back to games or other distractions. Number one probably being social media. Don't hesitate to turn it off for a couple of hours and I virtually guarantee that you'll see your productivity significantly enhanced. I suggest that you really work on being compassionate to yourself and avoid becoming bogged down by mistakes you may have made in the past. Consider your options for the future and where you can go from this point. Keep in mind that each modest step you take forward will bring you closer to your goals. Finally, let's sum up some of the things that you can do to avoid procrastination. Allocate time for work and studying to have a balanced life. Extend your concentration cycle by keeping yourself away from distractions like phones or social media. Make your study area less casual by setting it out in a way that helps you focus and avoid distractions. Avoid sitting on your bed, sit at a proper desk, a comfortable chair and clean up after yourself. A cluttered workspace will make most people feel stressed. Up until you discover something that works for you, keep trying new things until you find something that does work.